up people it's your boy Andrew FAQ Fitness and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the crisscross I'm going to be breaking down this technique into steps I'm going to slow down the video so you can get a more in-depth analysis on how to perform this technique let's get to the video in order to do this technique you have to be in the boxer skip position I mentioned this in my previous video in order to do pretty much any technique you've got to be in a boxer skip position look at this little clip that I'm doing doing a slow motion and only jumping two inches off the ground as you can see I'm only bouncing literally an inch or two off the ground I'm not jumping too high to get myself prepared to do the crisscross so the next step is crossing hands I'll say pick a hand you're more comfortable with I usually use my left hand crossing over my right hand I'm comfortable that way some people alternate between two hands the way I look at it is like drawing out a weapon in the western movies when the cowboys draw out their weapons and holsting it back in if you look at it that way it makes it more sense but I'll say host it open, host it open and that's how you get the momentum to crossing and opening your hands. So the next step is wrist, wrist figure eights. I say wrist figure eights because your wrists are almost like drawing eights and that helps you get the wrist loose enough to do in a crisscross. So you're almost like hosting the gun, opening it, hosting it, opening it, hosting it, opening it and it helps the wrist get very loose and ultimately getting you to do the crisscross step is feeling the feedback of the rope I'll recommend using a heavy rope so when you're doing the crisscross you can feel the feedback of the rope going round and when you feel that you know that you're completing the technique so when I first started I used to use, I started off with a heavy rope it helped me get my ground in and when I started doing the crisscross I was feeling the feedback even from the side you can see from the side I am crossing my hand but as I cross it I take my time by opening it up I'm crossing and opening up so I'm feeling the feedback of the rope helping me get the momentum and ultimately getting me to do the crisscross. Practice doing the crisscross with the techniques I showed you and the steps. I'll say start doing the regular bounce first and as you get comfortable you can start doing the alternative steps and doing the high knees. But I'll say slowly do the regular bounce, get comfortable with that first, start doing the high knees and get yourself comfortable to doing the crisscross with all different forms of techniques. And once you get comfortable, you can do it in the alternative steps. But I'll say just keep doing it, improve your crisscross, and before you know, you'll be fluid, fluid with it and you can do it without tripping up on your rope. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up to help this video get shared around so other beginners can see this video and progress their crisscross. And if you want to see more content like this, you don't have to go anywhere. I've got more videos on the side to help you burn fat and stay in shape. Till next time, people, Andrew FAQ Fitness. Peace.